Oh, hey builders, I'm just out here looking for critters. Not having much luck. Why don't we head inside, see if we can do a little better. Ah, much better. Daniel from Toy Box here. You know, the outside is just wet and dirty. Why don't we make our own critters with clay? Let's get started. You know the drill. As always, let's see what's inside. We've got punch out sheets, clay, look at all those colors, and a mat for building. To begin, head over to the Clay Critters Play Pack page and print out your critter book. This is where you can keep track of all the awesome critters you create. There's also a few pre-made critters to help you get started. Print out the book of critters on the boring 2D printer. Yes, that's a paper printer. Fold the sheets in half to create a booklet. Put the pages together and then staple the edge. If you're under 13, make sure to have an adult help you with the stapler. And now your book is ready to go. Oh, and be sure to write your name so you know who it belongs to. Now the really fun part. Let's start making some critters. If you're having trouble thinking of something, start with one of our pre-made critters. Ethel looks like she'd be fun to make. Before we open our clay, it could be a good idea to head over to the creator space and print out some pieces for your critters. We have a huge selection of spikes, horns, eyes, wings, you name it. Let's start with a shell for Ethel. Now let's get sculpting. Pick a color and get to molding it. But I think we could use some tools to sculpt. You'll find tons of sculpting tools that you can print and use. That's better. A sculpting knife can help cut the clay. A sculpting oval is great for creating indents. And we've got rollers. We call this one the pizza cutter. You can probably guess why. Let's start. Use your hands and the tools to make your critter come to life. Once you're happy with the shape of your critter, you can start by adding printed pieces, like Ethel's shell. But don't stop there, I'm making Snelly next. Refer back to the critter book to see how they look. Remember, your critters don't have to look just like mine. Want more customization? You can even create your own creature part. I think I'm gonna make some bug antennas for my critter. Simply draw, name it, and print. Hmm, I think this guy needs some wings. Ah, much better. You should have enough clay to make multiple critters, but if you want more, you can also use your own clay. Once you're done with the critter, make sure to document them in the critter book. I think this guy's name is Bork. He likes to eat flowers, and he lives in the forest. Write down some observations and then draw a footprint. Finally, do a quick sketch of your critter. It doesn't have to be perfect. Before we set our critter scene, don't forget about creating a custom roller. Click on custom roller and get started. You can turn any shape into a roller pattern, heart, star, or maybe a unique footprint for your custom critter. Now, let's punch out some of those cool scenery pieces and set the scene for our critters.
Use printed bases and attach them to the punch outs. Build your scene and let your critters explore. Hmm, maybe we can even go outside again. I can't wait to see what crazy critters you come up with with the Clay Critters Play Pack.